Baron Productions presents Drum Circle by Daniel Wilmot Starring Ben Thornburn and Mackenzie B. Crompton Ah, oh, finally I get the living room to myself for a bit. Come on, Nick. This essay won't write itself. Mara? Mara? You see! SD! You see! SD! Fight, fight, fight! Bloody hell, the Martians have landed. Aw, oh, come on, Nick. You should have been there. You missed a great game. I'm guessing we won then. By a freaking landslide. Seriously, I've never seen our guys play so well. That last touchdown was. Why do they call it a touchdown anyway? It just sounds dirty. You're a Brit. Everything to you sounds dirty. Hey, at least where I come from, it's called football, because you actually kick the ball. With your foot. Are you dissing our sport? He just dissed our sport, right? Blasphemy! Seize him! Hey! Hey! Put me down! Deport the evil foreigner! Exile! Banished back to the land of teabags! And warm beer! Never to return! Hey, let go! Seriously! Guys, put me down! Ah! Well, that was the most not fun I've had all evening. Oh, come on, man. You know you love us. Call the deadline, guys. Trying to get my essay finished. You've been on that laptop all night. Yeah, have a beer with us. Remember that thing called a degree? What I actually came here for? Oh, screw it, give me a bottle. <laughs> hey, that's more like it. To the University of San Diego football team. To the Tritons! The, the Tritons! Tritons. <sighs> Seriously though, Nick, you should have come. Yeah, their next game's not till after you go back home. Yeah, I know. I know, I've just... Oh, I've been partying a lot lately. Not recently, you haven't. I went to that frat thing with you last Saturday, didn't I? Yeah, that was last week. That doesn't count as recently. Yeah, but I, I want to do well on this course. I don't have a lot of time out here. And Exactly. You don't have a lot of time. So you got to make the most of it while you're with us. Coming to California is not just about studying, Nick. We're at the International House. There's nowhere else like this on the planet. Yes, I know. But I've been to every culture night, open mic and social this term. I just... Quarter, not term. What? We say quarter here, remember? Oh, just stop it, okay. You guys want to celebrate? Fine. I'll work in my room. Hey, Nick. You're definitely coming with us to the drum circle tomorrow night, right? The what? Oh, my God. You have to. It's amazing. What's a... They hold them down on Black's Beach once a month. They've got bonfires, drumming, dancing, fire juggling. Everyone gets freaking wasted. Or high. Some people get high. Sounds fun. Oh, you gotta come, man. It'll be awesome. You can't miss this. Tell you what. If I get finished tonight, I'll come. How about that? Sounds like a deal. Great. Good night, guys. Hey, Nick. What? If you get time after class tomorrow, you should go down to the cliffs above the beach in the afternoon. See the ocean. It's beautiful out there. Thanks. Maybe I'll do that. Just don't look at the beach, okay? Oh, come on, Justin. I'm serious. Why? Because it's a nude beach. So? So there's nude people on it. Yeah, there's usually nude people at nude beaches. So there's men. You know, without stuff protecting their stuff. Hey, I've seen your laptop. You don't mind women without stuff protecting their stuff. Hey, not fair, man. Justin! That's different. How is it different? And on that note, I'm getting back to work. Good night, guys. Seriously, how is it different? Dear future self, wherever you are when you decide to read this journal back. I really do wonder sometimes about my housemates, Justin and Shannon. I mean, they're great, don't get me wrong. But all these parties, frat nights, other socials, it's all a bit overwhelming. I mean, you remember as well as I do how often I went out before, well, before this place. I can't live this hard and fast all the time. Especially if I want to impress my professors here and apply to Californian grad schools after I finish at Kent. (sighs) You know what, I shouldn't get like this. I only want to be friends, make sure I have a good time here. It's not as if anyone's ever really done that before, is it? Tell you what though, Shannon was definitely right about this place. Palm trees, white sand below the cliffs. I don't think I've ever seen the ocean that blue. I've seen a single cloud in the last couple of months either, come to think of it. Oh, 
And there's no new people right now either. So that's a plus. Dear future self, I hope you never forget what you're seeing just now. It really does feel like something out of a dream. I'm just glad it's my dream. Trouble with all good dreams? You have to wake up. Nick, stay here, Nick. Mara? Oh, hi there. How are you? What? Oh, hello, sorry, I was... I didn't mean to disturb you. No, it's okay. It's Dr. Walsh, isn't it? You're the new... I'm the new director at the International House, yes. But please, call me Kelly. Sure. I'm Nick. So you're staying at the I-House? What gave me away? Well, the accent does kind of suggest. I know, I get that a lot. Oh, I hope I didn't offend or anything. No, please, I love it. It's hilarious. You should see the ones who ask me if I like tea and crumpets every afternoon. That's the stereotype, I guess. So, what brought you here, Nick? Of course, mostly. I mean, San Diego is one of the leading universities in political science, so... It's true. We have a lot of poli-sci majors here. Hey, why do you call it poli-sci anyway? Sounds like a tired parrot. Polly and... Sorry, don't mind me. Even other English people hate my humour. Oh, the great British comedy. I've heard of that. So you're here for the year, or...? No, I couldn't afford it, sadly. Just the... Just the one term, yeah. Sorry, quarter. Quarter, must remember that. You like it here, then? I love it. I mean, it's a bit overwhelming, but... Honestly, that's what's great about this place. So much I haven't tried before, so much I hadn't seen. So much food I hadn't tasted. You are going to love the International Sunday Suppers here. It's just a shame it's so short an exchange. This time next month I'll be... Well, hey, you'll have lots of stories to tell your friends when you get back. And your family. I don't really speak much to my family. Friends, well, I'm quite, quite sheltered really, so this place is kind of all I have. Sorry, I... Don't need to go all depressing on you. No, that's okay. And hey, we all need friends. That's part of why I took the job here. I always felt the International House is a great equalizer, you know? We're all here from different places, different countries. But we're all here because we want to be here. Because we want to fit in. And that's why we find a home here. Nice, you should put that in your next Sunday supper speech. Yeah, I'd definitely say I found a home here. Just wish I could keep it, you know? It's not fair. They give you something good like this and then they take it away again. Why should I have to go back? Why can't I stay out here? I don't want to leave. There's so much I haven't done yet. And... Sorry, that's me. It's my alarm. I've got to go. I'm supposed to meet the guys for dinner before the drum circle tonight. Oh, the drum circle? You're going to that? Yeah, it sounds like fun. Really? Because, from what I heard, it sounds kind of dangerous. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to go and do drugs or anything, I just... Oh, it's not that that I'm worried about. Look, the authorities have tried to shut those things down for a while now. People go missing at those parties, and then they turn up in a bad way. Or sometimes, well, they don't turn up at all. Stay here, Nick. Stay forever. I love you. Well, I'm going with my mates, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Anyway, it's the one chance I've got to go. I'm not missing it. See you later. This is it, guys. We just follow the tiki torches. They'll show us the way down the path to the bottom of the cliffs. Hey, look at that moon! It's so huge and bright on the water! Hey, Nick, when we get down there, you'll dance with me, right? Uh, what? Round the fire with the other dancers! It'll be fun! Um, oh, he doesn't dance. He's too British, aren't you, Nick? Hey, just because I'm British doesn't mean I can't have fun, you know? So you will dance with me, then? Maybe. Yep. Uptight British guy alert. Hey, I'm less uptight than you are, mate. Are not. And so? How'd you figure that out? Where I come from, I've been legally drinking for two years. Yeah, all that warm beer must taste great. And the mint tea. Don't forget the mint tea. Did I mention how much I'd love to murder you both with something sharp and heavy? Come on, guys. The drums are getting cold. Oh, wow. 
Man, this is just seriously. Wow. Look at that bonfire. How they managed to set all of this up? For the I House. Oh, it's not I House. It's everyone. Anyone that wants to come. And it's BYOB, so nobody gets caught selling stuff. Speaking of which, come on, let's get those drinks out. Hey, Nick, give me a hand with this blanket. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. You got it? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's better. Where's that beer? Done. There's no bottle opener. Oh, wait. I've got someone to help with that. Here. It's a tiny metal shot? Yeah. And it opens beer. Oh, go on. I'll prove it. Give me that bottle. Shark one. British guy nil. I'm starting to feel like you're secretly a child. Hey, are you dissing the shark? Don't diss the shark. Ding, ding. Back to you corners, guys. Oh, hi, Dr. Walsh. Wait, you are here? Yeah, I thought I'd check it out. Amazing bonfire, isn't it? But I thought you said... Oh, God, no. No. No, Pluto, don't look down the beach. Why? What? Naked guy alert. Naked guy alert. Oh, bloody hell, no. That's just wrong. Seriously, guys, grow up. Hey, just because a dude's got a right to be naked on this beach doesn't mean he should inflict his his, his nakedness on the rest of us. Hey, hey. Relax, he's gone now. Well, I'm not taking any chances. I'm moving nearer the cliffs. Yeah, me too. Uh, guys! <sighs> Sad men are so fragile, isn't it, Dr. Wolf? Oh, Kelly, please. So, Shannon, what brought you to the eye house? Justin? Hey, Justin, where'd you... Ow, hey. Watch it! Sorry. Sorry. How's your top? I'm fine, I'll dry off. I didn't... Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, you barely splashed me. No, I mean, your neck, it's all bruised and... My name's Mara. What's yours? Nick, but... Nick, nice to meet you. Hey, don't you just love this party? Uh... Yeah, I guess. They shoot us all the time. I mean, you've got the beach, the cliffs, the... The drinks spilling on people's tops. <laughs> yeah, that too. So, who are you here with? Well, my housemates. But they seem to have... Yeah, mine too. Hey, should we get you another drink? There's loads of free ones by the fire. But... Yeah, why not? So you've known him since he came here, then? Pretty much. We met at orientation, and now we're housemates. With Justin. And he was quite shy when you met him? Oh, Nick's always a bit shy at first. Until he starts having fun. I think Nick's one of those guys who's always desperate to get out of his comfort zone, but he's really scared to actually do it. As soon as he does, he has loads of fun. Sometimes he can't stop. What do you mean he can't stop? Jen, Dr. Walsh, hey, I lost Nick. Have you seen him? What? You lost him? Oh, no, he's over there, see? Right by the bonfire. What? Is he dancing? No, but he's... Hey, he's with a girl. Hey, Nick's with a girl? That's awesome. That unfair. I want a girl. Wait, he's got a girl? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a 50p, right? Wow, your money looks so weird. Oh, well, there's more. Hang on a sec. Look, that's a pound coin, so like your dollar. Uh, this is what I call a fiver, and that's a tenner. Oh my god, those bills are huge. Notes. We call them notes in England. And yeah, I guess they are pretty big compared to dollars. Of course, I'm used to those now, so... Hey, what's the matter? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit depressed tonight. How come? My exchange. I've got less than a month to go, and... You don't want to go back to England. Very little to go back to, if I'm honest. Sorry, that's harsh on my family. I just mean, coming out here has changed me and... You don't want to go back to who you were before? Pretty much, yeah. I know what that's like. You do? I was married. Once. It was beautiful. Changed me on a big level, you know? It didn't last, then. All the dreams. God, we're both far too sober to be having this conversation. Come on, let's have some fun. Do you want to dance? Um, I don't... Well, I'm not really... Maybe another drink first? I mean, afterwards, maybe. But I'm not much of a... Feeling braver now? Yeah, okay. Let's go dance. No, look at the bonfire. There's a beach shed just up there. A load of cliffs. We'll make our own fun. Yeah? 
Sure. I'll go up there now. Come knock on the door in five minutes. Wow. Dear future self, not to jinx it, but you might just be about to have the best night of... Nick, there you are. That's jinxed it. Nick, where's that girl? Look, Kelly, I really appreciate you looking out for me, but... Nick, I need you to come with me right now. What? No, I'm staying here. I'm serious. This isn't what you think it is. Hey, why are you so dead set against me being here tonight, hmm? I don't see what... Hey, Nick, we've been looking for you. Yeah, who's the girl? And why didn't I spot her first? Justin, go play with your little shark toy. It's nice to see you guys. But if you don't mind, I'm going to go find Mara now, so... Nick... Please, you mustn't go up there. Hey, what's your problem, Dr. Walsh? Are you like the fun police? Oh, God, no! Oh, come on, man, not again! Justin, it's only a naked man. Get over it. Seriously, dude, put some shorts on. This ain't funny anymore. Guys, we don't have time for this right now. We just need to... Wait. Nick? Nick! Dr. Walsh, what is it? We need to find him. Come on! Mara! Mara, it's, it's me! Turn around. It's open. Hey. Hey. Sorry. I just shake the desperate housemates. They were a bit... Shh, it's okay. They're gone now. <laughs> what? It's just us here. Some wine? Thanks. It's just the bottle, I'm afraid. No cups. No worries. Ah, <sighs> nice, um... Shed? This? It was my ex-husband's. I stole it. You you stole a shed? How do you steal a shed? I strangled him and took the keys. <laughs> oh my god, your face! You made a face! I made you make a face! One way to deal with a breakup, I guess. Mara, can I ask? What happened to you? Those bruises around your neck. Your ex-husband, did he? Must you bring that up again? I'm sorry, I was... We came here to have some fun, right? Yes, we did. I... Good. Kiss me again. Now, stop talking, take off your shirt, and lie back. You don't mess around, do you? Do I look like I mess around? Do I? Didn't think so. There is a way you could stay, you know? Here in California. You could marry me. <laughs> That'd be fun. No, I didn't say laugh. I said marry me. More right. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. Say it. You'll never have to leave. Mara, I don't think... Say it. Mara, it hurts. Hey! You're joking me! Say it! Say it or I'll squeeze harder. Marry me. Marry me. What's the matter? Don't you want to? Don't you want to stay? Did you say to me you'd never leave? What's the point of all this? You know what I think? I think you're just afraid. I think you spent so many years alone, you're too weak even to... Nick! Nick, where are you? Get the hell off me! Too late. Bye, Nick. Hey, Mara! Wait! Mara! They must have gotten higher up the cliff! Hey, look! Someone's climbing up the rocks on the left! Come back! It's not safe up there! It's her! She's the girl Nick was with! No! Shannon, don't! Mara! Wait! Wait for me! Nick! Nick! (laughs) Say it! Say it! Or I'll squeeze harder! Or I'll squeeze harder! Marry me! 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 No. No, I don't want to wake up. Oh, God, that light through the curtain kills. What time is it? Three in the afternoon? Bloody hell, I must have slept through... Oh, oh, my head. Why did I have to wake up? What happened last night? Oh, my God, Mara. She fell. I tried to stop her, but she... How do I get back to my room? Guys? Oh, this... this is stupid. Where are my clothes? Justin! Shannon? Guys, are you in? Justin, are you in your room? Shannon? Shannon, are you there?
No, that's not right. That can't be right. That date's way off. Stupid laptop must have stuck. Hello? Yeah, uh, hi, my name's Nick. I'm an exchange student here at International House. I'm trying to reach my two housemates, Justin Kim and Shannon Hintz. Well, I've not seen them for the last two days. They're not in their rooms. They're not online. They're not answering their phones. And no one outside will talk with me. So, yeah, it's Kathmandu House, room 103. Nick Haywood. No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not. No, please don't. Right, I've had enough of this. Hello? Hello, anyone? It's Nick here. Anyone care to notice me? What the hell's wrong with you all? Talk to me. Talk to me, for God's sake. I'm standing right here. Fine, then. (laughs) What's happened to me? Why would they even look at me? Justin, Shannon, where are you? Hello? Come in? I said come in. Who's there? Please. Who is it? Please. Please stop. Just... Nick? Nick, please talk to me. Kelly? Nick, is that you? Kelly! Oh, Kelly, what's happening? Shh, it's okay. They they said you'd left the college. I can't find Justin or Shannon. The people out there won't speak to me. I don't recognise anyone. Nick, it's all right. I can tell you everything, but not here. What do you want about? I need you to come with me. Can you do that? Where are we going? You know where we are? Um, yeah, we were here the other night. These are the cliffs above the drum circle. Why are we... Sounds like she's angry today. Who? Mariana Swallow. Mara. Uh, the young woman you met at... Mara! She, she fell off the cliffs and... Yes, I know about that. I'm more concerned with you right now. Me? What? Nick, when you were in the beach shed with Mara, what did she do? I... Can you remember? Oh my god, I think she was trying to kill me. She was on top of me. She put her arms around my throat. I tried to stop her, but... She was so strong. And How did you leave the beach that night? I don't know. I I pushed her off me. She ran up the path. I chased after her and she fell. And then that's it. I can't remember. It. Nick, I need you to look down there at the beach. There's something you have to see. Over the edge of the cliff? That's right. Mara's beach shed? Yes. Where is it? It was right there, just left of those big rocks. Now look even further down. Do you see the people gathered on the shoreline? What? What's happening? The body of that young man they're carrying down from the rocks? That's Eric Singer. He was a student here. The one that they're bringing out of the waves? That's Chloe Balakian. She was an exchange student from the Saban. What happened to them? I'm afraid... You and Mara happened to them. Kelly, what are you... This is going to come as a bit of a shock, I'm afraid. But... Kelly, what the hell are you on about? Can't you just give me a straight answer? What about my friends? Where are Justin and Shannon? Oh, don't worry, they're fine. They're not fine? Where the hell are they? What's happened to my housemates? Shannon and Justin graduated. Fifteen years ago. I've got the pictures on my phone. Look, here. No. No, this is a joke. You're playing a big joke with me, right? I'm afraid not, Nick. Then what are you saying? Because I've got... Nick, the night you met Mara at the drum circle, something horrific happened. And the same thing's been happening ever since for the past 15 years. Two students, every year, since you and Mara. No. No. No, it's been two days. The drum circle was two days ago. Check the date on my phone. I've not faked it. It's the same date as on your laptop, right? Nick, I left that laptop out for you so you could try and come to terms with what's happened. I left your phone out too. Why? Kelly, what's... Nick, 
There's a reason you don't remember the last 15 years. And there's a reason no one else can speak to you. And I'm so very, very sorry. No. No, you're making it up. I'm really sorry, Nick. You're making it up. Justin and Shannon haven't graduated. They'll be off on a trip or something. And I must have... I must have drunk too much and forgot. It can't be 15 years. Even if I was dead, I... I'd still remember, wouldn't I? All those people dying. What sort of a sick joke is... You know what? I'm not going to listen to this. Nick. No, you leave me alone. I'm not going to listen to any more. What the hell was that? You better stick close to me. Jesus, she's so powerful. What was it? That was one of the privileges of 15 years haunting. You'd have them too, Nick, but I prefer to keep your spirit locked away. Helps with the not remembering. Mara! Miss Swallow, you stay right there. Any closer now? I can also cause you great pain if I choose, Dr. Walsh. Not that that's your real name. You know, I'm surprised she let a tenth-rate specialist like you hijack her identity just to reach out to Nick here. It's her students you're killing. She wants all this to stop just as much as I do. Yeah? And what exactly is your plan for... Ab insidious diaboli, nibra, nos, domine, et ecclesiam, tuam, secure... Oh my god, you're using that old thing? Seriously, I've been around way too long for those Latin chants to have any effect. There, there, Nick. Don't worry. I won't hurt you any more than they already have. Mara, you tell me right now. Where's Justin and Shannon? What have you done to them? What? You think I... No? Sorry, hun. Never touched them. The doc here was telling you the truth. Even if she left out the best parts. You see, once a year, I let your spirit out of its bindings. We each possess a drunken student of our choice and reenact your little death scene on the beach with two new victims. What? You think you got away that night? Silly boy. I strangled you to death was really screaming and writhing. Just a pity your friends were so close by I had to climb up the cliffs to get away. Didn't end well. My body's still out there in the ocean somewhere. Not that it matters, I'm still here. And now every year I get away with something I always had to cover up when I was alive. Ever since that scumbag husband tried to do it to me. He was right though, it's an amazing rush. Aw oh, no, don't cry Nick. Don't be sad. You're an integral part of all this. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't get to have all this fun. Besides, you got to stay here in sunny California. Isn't that what you wanted? To stay forever. I think you stayed here long enough, Mara. Oh, you think you've got some say in that, do you, Kelly? Your chants don't work on me. You can't burn my body unless you go deep sea diving for 10,000 years and... I'm not the one who gets to decide. You forgot who else is haunting these cliffs. Mara. What? Come with us, Mara. Who's there? Mara, we're coming to get you. Remember? Mara. All the people you strangled? Mara, come Or thrown from the rocks? Come on. They're not too happy you're still here. And I think there's just about enough of them to drag you to where you belong. Come with us, Oh, come on! Am I supposed to be frightened by this bunch of shadows? Nick, I think now would be a good time to go. Okay. future self. I guess I shouldn't write that anymore. But anyway, I'm actually kind of surprised I could still do this. Right, I mean. guess it has something to do with this journal being on me when I died. Or maybe it's because Kelly, whatever her real name is, says it's the last thing that's holding me here, now that Mara's gone. But I'm glad I still can, anyway. I had a beautiful day today. Walked around campus. Went to the old diner, even went for a swim in the bay with the sea lions. Who knew ghosts could swim? I didn't. 
I guess I've just about come to terms with what's happened to me. I mean, I'm never going to be okay with it, but yeah. Ironic. I was so desperate to stay here. Still can't believe it's been 15 years. But, perhaps, whatever happens next will be nice. As they say, there's only one way to find out. Hi, Kelly. Oh, sorry, what's your real name again? It's Christy. Christy. How are you? If, uh, if that's not, you know, a stupid question. I'm okay. So, what happens now? Well, you can take as long as you like. When you're ready, I'll burn that journal for you. And that's it? That'll let me pass on? It will. Whenever you feel ready. Now is good. Oh, wait. Uh, what about my parents? Shouldn't I look in on them first? What about Justin and, and Shannon? Can't I say goodbye? Or... Nick, Justin and Shannon have mourned for you, and so have your parents. I hate to say it, but you'd probably terrify them if you were... Sure, yeah. Of course. Wasn't thinking. I'm sorry, Nick. Don't be. All you've tried to do is help me out. Okay. I'm going to walk down there. Down that path to the beach. And then across the sand. Let me get to the waves. Once I'm in the water, then you can burn these pages. Alright? Of course. Thanks, Christy. Godspeed, Nick. Oh, Nick? Yeah? I'll need your pan, too. Oh, sorry. I'll chuck it back to you. Oh, got it. Thanks. See you, Christy. See you, Nick. Drum Circle featured the voices of... Ben Thorburn as Nick, Mole Barton as Mara, Nell Frampton as Shannon, Matt Patterson as Justin, and Mackenzie V. Crompton as Dr. Kelly Wash. The music was by Andrew Barton. The play was written and directed by Daniel Wilmot. Announced by Natalie Rowe and produced by Baron Productions. <laughs>